Hey everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to another Makers with Heart Mystery Envelope Challenge. This month, Lori sent the envelopes to all the Makers with Heart and we each got the same thing. So she included in her envelope some rules, papers from Four Seasons Spring, a piece of lemonade shimmer trim. Okay, so Lori's rules read that uh, we have to use every piece so every pattern and i can use whatever card stocks i want or and also embellishments and i need to use a technique that i don't normally use so i'm going to use paper tearing so i have chosen pattern number 15 from make it from your heart volume 4 and i think this will show off the paper tearing technique really well Okay, my stamp set is from It's the Little Things Card Making. It has a lot of nice sentiments in it, and you can get this set until the end of February. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to start trimming out my uh, pieces of card, uh, pattern paper. So this first one that is a wood grain is going to be that center strip in the pattern and I'm going to stamp my sentiment on it. So it's this one. So it needs to be cut at one and a half by four and a quarter. So I'm going to trim that down. And then the opposite side of it is that green pattern and um, I need to save that to use. Okay, so that's where my sentiment's going to be. And then this piece of lemonade shimmer trim, I'm going to cut it in half. So a trick to uh, trimming it is to put a little adhesive on the back and then uh, lay it down in your trimmer and then it won't move while you're uh, cutting it in half. So I want a quarter inch of each and that's going to border the sentiment strip. Okay, then this avocado piece. It's a half an inch and I wasn't sure if I wanted to use that to be part of the background or as an accent. So I'm going to hold off on trimming it down to four and a quarter until I've decided. All right, now I'm laying out these pattern papers and kind of deciding which ones I want to have where. So that uh, floral piece, I want that to be the largest piece. And then just kind of seeing how they sit next to each other. Of course they coordinate because they're all from the same collection. So I'm going to lay all these pieces out, thinking about that avocado strip, and I think I'm going to use it as an accent. Okay, so the first piece I'm going to cut is going to be this uh, polka dot piece. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> so I am adding a quarter inch onto each of the measurements of this pattern so that I have room for tearing. All right. So instead of half an inch, that polka dot piece is going to be three quarters of an inch. And then this floral piece, it's piece C. I'm looking at the pattern to see what is going to remain after I cut that strip is uh, one and three quarters. And then this pink polka dot, trimming that at one inch. And then the yellow strip is going to be one and a quarter. So each of those uh, pieces I have added a quarter inch because I'm going to be tearing off part of it. All right, so I'm laying everything out to see if I like what how it's coming together, and then I'll trim each of these strips to five inches, according to the pattern. Okay, now it's time to do some paper tearing. Okay, so I wasn't sure if I wanted to use my straight edge, so I'm gonna start out by hand tearing the first one. So, if you pull the paper towards you, you'll be able to see the white core. And then if you tear it away from you, you won't be able to see the white core. So I want to see the white core, so I'm tearing it towards me. And just tearing off the very edge, okay? All right. 
And then I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm, I'm going to try the straight edge. And I'm going to pull that towards me. And I think it's a little too perfect. So you'll see me fix that later on. But right now I'm just going to lay everything down. And I'm going to have my torn edges go towards the opening of the card. So now I'm going to fast forward everything because it's just basically tearing the edge of the paper. <laughs> so I'm going to do the pink one and then the polka dot one. And then I'll go back and do this floral one. And just tear off a tiny bit off that edge. Okay, so now I'm going to trim this avocado piece to four and a quarter now that I've decided it's going to be an accent on my sentiment. And then we can flip over our verse mat and stamp our sentiment out, okay? So I wasn't sure if I wanted to use thank you or if I wanted to use thinking of you. And ultimately, I decided on thinking of you. I just like the way it looked in that space there. So I'm stamping it with some black ink. And that's it for stamping. Okay, so now we can start laying things down on our card front. So first I'm going to use a border of Flamingo. So I'm going to trim this down to four and a quarter by five and a half, and that'll be my card base. I think these colors will really pop with that as a base. And then we can start laying things out and adhering everything down. So I'm just smoothing out my card base with a bone folder. And I'll start putting everything down with tape runner. This is the Tombow Air Touch tape runner, and you can get it through close to my heart. I'll put a link below. It is a great tape runner. It doesn't jam up and it runs smooth and I haven't had any problems with it. It's my favorite one for using on cards. I highly recommend it. Okay, so I've just laid everything out and now I'm gonna start adhering. I have a quarter inch on the top, quarter inch on the side and the bottom. And I'm just gonna glue all these strips of paper down Pretty simple. Now that I have my pattern. So I will put a link at the end of this video and also in the description below of the playlist for the other Makers with Heart videos. And you can see the cool things they've done with all these supplies that Lori sent to us. Make sure you check out all the other Makers with Heart. I'm excited to see what they decide to do with these supplies too. So my sentiment is going to be one and a half inches from the top. I'll just put that down with tape runner. And then I'll add my shimmer trim. It's self-adhesive, so I'm gonna one at the top and then before I put the one at the bottom I'm going to put that strip of avocado right below my sentiment and then I'll add a shimmer trim. So I will make a list of all the supplies I used with links in the description below. Okay so now I'm going to add some of these wood grain flowers. I'll scatter three of them around my sentiment and those will get attached with glue dots. And then for a little extra bling, I'm going to add a clear sparkle to the center of each one of these flowers. Gotta have some bling, right? So we'll put a sparkle in the center of each. And there's my finished card. I'll have some close-up shots right here. Bright, fun spring colors. So cute. 
So if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And then you'd be able to find all of my videos. And thanks for watching.